Samsung at CES 2020 are about to announce an incredible 8K TV, the Q950TS, their QLED range, and it's their top of the range 8K TV, which is very likely to cost an awful lot of money. But it does look incredible, as we can see from this latest photo. It comes with a raft of just amazing technology. There's uh, further developments along their um, their quantum processor, where uh, it takes it uses AI to upscale HD and 4K content to 8K. A lot of the time, this sounds like a gimmick, but having seen um, their previous iterations of their their sort of upscaling technology on other 8K panels and TVs. It works very well, certainly amazingly well with HD content, moving it all the way up to to, to 8K. You, you, you're hard pushed to, to see that, that, that it's actually doing a lot of number crunching behind the scenes and creating this 8K image. Uh, so that, that's been um, developed further and uh, they've, they're calling it sort of a, uh, an adaptive picture technology. So it, it sort of works it on the fly. Um, and it adjust the uh, the contrast of the panel according to the ambient light in the room. So none of that kind of blinding. If you're in a dark room, that it sort of blinds you too much. Um, so it's a, a per constantly adjusting the the TV the the image of the TV and the panel uh, related to the ambient light in the room, which is pretty clever. We've seen that before in some other. Um, tech I've seen it a lot in um, post-processing in in sort of media where monitors are where they use it for film and um, media creation they'll have a panel that's set up that will adapt itself um, to the to the lighting conditions of the room so you, you're getting a truer image so it's good to see that being uh, making its way into TVs and we'll see that more and more, I'm quite sure. Um, they have this, uh, what they call um, AI scale net technology, which sounds very, um, uh, what's the word? What's the, what's the guy with the robot? The, <laughs> uh, what's his name? What's it's Terminator. That's the one. It sounds very Terminator-ish, doesn't it? Um, so it's using uh, an, a an AV1 codec developed by Google. Um, so basically it enables uh, the panel to play 8K videos that are on YouTube, which is pretty cool. So it's, it's good to see. Um, and I'm actually starting to watch more and more YouTube content on, on my TV as well, um, rather than on the computer. It also uh, has what they call Q Symphony on board, which allows um, better sound quality uh, through the the, spe the speakers. That remains to be seen. A lot of TV speakers are pretty pretty woeful, but they are improving an awful lot. So we'll see how this um, this so-called new technology in the sound department makes makes any sort of headway into really improving those sounds. I think if you're spending that kind of money on an 8K TV, chances are you've got a proper sort of Atmos or at least a proper surround system to connect it up to. Um, and then it also has an active voice amplifier um, to uh, regulate the uh, the, t the the noise of the TV based on the ambient noise level of the dialogues in the in the in the when what's being shown we've seen this an awful lot um, there was a lot of criticism I think maybe last year or the year before of a BBC um, docudrama type thing where it was it just felt like everyone was mumbling um, so it would probably do a great deal of work and make things a lot clearer on things like that. Uh, and finally, of course, the big wow factor with this TV is the fact that it's 99% TV. It's 99% screen. So none of those sort of bezels anymore, pretty much gone. So that's incredibly exciting to finally see a TV that is that is sort of bezel-less. And they're calling this, they are calling this, what are they calling this? It's Infinity Design. Um, 
I, I suppose they they didn't want to call it the Infinity Display because I think that's what they started to use for their mobile phone range. So they didn't want maybe to confuse it with that. But anyway, it's the Q950 TS 8K QLED TV that's coming out this week at CES 2020. Please subscribe if you feel like it. You'll get more videos like this. And I'm going to be m doing more uh, updates as uh, CES 2020 rolls on, as well as at the end of each day, I'll be doing a kind of a, a review, a look back on that day and things that have really caught my eye. So s consider subscribing, click the bell, and you'll get alerted when I've done these videos. And if you feel like it, give me a thumbs up. That's always very welcome. Thanks again. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.